Hi, welcome back to VMake DevOps. In the last recording, we saw how we can set up the Jenkins from Jenkins.io and today we will going to see how we can configure our Jenkins server. So now I log in on the Jenkins with my admin credential. There's a first, uh, we are going to configure Jenkins with the help of console. That's um, I went to manage Jenkins. I went to the configure system. Like in case of Jenkins, we are having these parameters. Like we can configure the whole Jenkins. We can configure the uh, global tool. Like we can configure here the Maven, uh, uh, Git, uh, the path, the environment variable. And after that, we are having here the manage plugin. Last recording also, we will uh, we saw that how we can uh, install that plugin. Like if you having some plugin and you want to install some plugin, so just I went here Git and. I type here git and I got this plugin. So I, if I need to install that plugin, I install it without restart. That is the way to installing plugin. But now we are going to configure the system. So I just for the demo purpose, I'm just saying this is my Jenkins. So this is the system message. So if I go in here, I can see here, this is my Jenkins. So this is that uh, this is the way that we can configure our Jenkins. If I need to configure some tool, I can configure here some tool. Like I can configure here. Uh, you can see here the Git is configured. You can put uh, another install. Like you can install another if you having two Git, and if you are uh, giving them path, then it's giving the two path. That's that's demo. Don't go with the path and all those. Even this path is not correct because I'm having a different OS. So I just apply and that is the way that you can configure your global tool, you can configure system, but that is old way actually. Suppose if you having, uh, or what will happen if we are having a dozens of parameters as well as how we can manage consistency for configuration, then Jenkins provide a, a very nice feature that we calling as configuration as a code plugin. I'm just giving overview for this one and showing a small demo for that, but you, you have to go through with the all. So how it works. First of all, we need to install this plugin from the Jenkins. This is the way to install plugin. Like I already installed the plugin so I can show you here if configuration as a code. So yeah, I can see here this now in this version of Jenkins, this plugin is by default are coming with this plugin. So if you are going to install the configuration as a code with AWS, then automatically this plugin get installed. But in case of old Jenkins, you can uh, directly install this plugin. So I already installed this plugin. When I install this plugin, I got this configuration or these features in my Jenkins configuration as a code. Before installing that plugin, I don't have this feature, but now I got this feature. So what will happen here? Here we are going to create a YML a definition file in this YML definition file we are going to put uh, we are going to put all our configuration related to node related to see here uh, this configuration related to node if I have to add another slave node for this Jenkins I can put here if I have to put some tools like here uh, for example is showing here the tool the git they are installing it this is very nice feature they, they are giving the for the credential as well like if you having credential you can put so now we are coming on the demo. So here I created a one file and this is my file. In this file, I'm having uh, a very small thing like I'm going to install a tool that already installed the Git. The name is uh, Git only and I'm going to create a credential here and the credential ID is my card. So if I'm going here, manage Jenkins and if I'm going here, this uh, credential, I don't have any credential here. So I'm going to put this file. So the way of how we can use Jenkins as a configuration is a code plugin. So first of all, create your uh, manifest file. So once your manifest file is ready, just put on the system where Jenkins installed. So suppose uh, you are going to put, uh, you, you are using the Jenkins on the Docker, then put into the volume. Uh, if you are using Jenkins on the server, put on the same server. So I put that file into this location like a temp Jenkins demo.yml file. Now I'm coming on the Jenkins. How to use this file? Go to manage Jenkins, click on the configuration as a code and put that path. So I'm going to put this path as it is and now I'm going to apply. That's it done. 
my Jenkins is ready. And if I'm going here, manage Jenkins. And if I'm going to the uh, credential, I can see this. This credential is visible now. And this credential came from this configuration, the my card. Because I already uh, put that file on this location on the temp folder. So it already took, and that is a very nice way that you can make consistency of your config uh, for your configuration in case of Jenkins server. And suppose if you have to move your Jenkins from one server to another server, then if you are doing everything with the help of console, again, you have to do everything uh, manually there in that uh, new Jenkins. But if you are having Jenkins, <coughs> oh, sorry. Are ready with configuration as a code plugin then you are having a single file and you can put that file into some uh, on the target server and your configuration is as it is uh, appear in the new jenkins that's it for this demo and uh, that we will uh, see the in the next uh, demo some uh, how we can create a, some simple kind of job and like we can going to start uh, jenkins on on that perspective so that's it